welcome back to Bourbon Banter and another episode of Bottom Shelf Bangers. Yep, I'm really excited. This is what, week three already? Week three it's already, flying yeah. by. I oh, know, it's, it's by. going crazy. So again, this is my week um, after Jared's last week. Mm -hmm. Two good ones, so two average ones. Middle of the road, yeah, like very a 10, 11 on the scale, but we didn't talk, we're gonna change it. You caught our um, wild turkey lineup ranking. We did each out of 50 and then added together, so 100. So I feel like that's more comp like, comprehensible to you yeah. guys. But then like, it's easy to tell. I mean, it's not hard to tell out of 20, but it just like makes more makes sense. Weirdo. So let's do both out of 50, add them up, and then the total mm -hmm. square out of 100 will be that week. So you'll see the updated one yeah, this week yeah, too. Yeah, we'll change the other ones on yeah. leaderboard. So just scale them up. Out. I'm hoping we get something to take the throne because I don't know if this will do it. It's, I've had this bottle before. I don't think you've had, and it smelled worse than I remember. Yeah, that is just like Oof. It doesn't smell like bourbon. It smells like a cocktail. It has like just like, like vodka. It's like did you put vodka. <laughs> that has a terrible note to it. I don't even know what that is. Oh. It's like, it's like, oh, almost like really like moldy sharpie like it's <laughs> we said that like four times in videos yeah. but just straight sharpie markers expo i guess was another good description it's most more like an expo than a sharpie <laughs> do you know like the smelly markers yeah that's what yeah, i said in another video yeah but like it smells like a, a one that had gone bad like you know like oh, a yeah. four-year-old one that like yes. has a scent but it's a bad scent yeah that's, that's what this is it's an expired marker yeah oh i don't like get like anything like edible on the palette the caramel a little on the back of the nose for me because that's just not it right now i'm not even like looking forward to drinking this it's just like a green jolly rancher but like not in a good way i don't like i don't i don't even know what i'm trying to smell here it's just so why'd you like, choose this i don't know <laughs> it's not bad there's nothing like i don't like about it it's just not good there's just nothing strong there that it's like mm. i don't think this is the week that's just not good mm. I don't even know if I want to drink that again. It's easy to drink, but it's just I don't want to. As long as you don't smell it, it gets better. Like it's like rubber. Yeah, that's a very good note. It tastes like rubber. Yeah. Like somebody just slammed their brakes on and the rubber burned on their tires on the road, and then you peeled it off and put it in my glass. I will say, I think this is the cheapest bottle we've had the other day. It was fifteen dollars. Obviously, it's probably a legacy distillery. Yeah, I'm gonna say that because most craft distilleries are like right at 25 or over. There's yeah, really yeah, there's like nothing. There's not like most of these we're gonna have are just bottom shelf legacy, commonly available. Yeah, and like, every legacy distiller has like, distillery has like 45 different bottom shelf offerings that yeah. they somehow own. But I like, like, what are you even making money on these? I, I, seriously, it's just not getting any better. The nose isn't. It? It's floral. Yeah, perfumes like it smells like Macy's. <laughs> like the bad section? Yeah, like, like the bad section. Old ladies hang out? Yeah, it smells like 75 year olds. <coughs> smells like 75. <laughs> oh, that's just not good. I was excited for this week, man. I was too. We had some good pours before. Last week was just a banger of yeah, videos. It was it's hard fun. to beat that. So. This isn't Russell 13. No, no, it's not. Man, I, don't, I just don't even know. I'm kind of speechless on this. I did not intend for this to be this bad yeah like i was going in with like okay this has a chance um now i will very say let down it's not awful i see like maybe somebody just trying to cut their teeth on something or cocktail mixing but like i wouldn't recommend this to anybody see i think this is just something that gives bourbon a bad name though like I, if i, would, I have this in a party like man, i'm just not a whiskey or bourbon drinker like i can't turn you all yeah like i bourbon. can't get behind I, this. I can see that I'm not spitting it out like I said we would have to do it for some bottles in the future. I'm sure we will. Like, I'm seriously, there's going to be a bottle yeah. where it's just like, it tastes like rounded up corn. The back of the palate kind of tastes like burnt, like chocolate chip cookies. Like, not like the yeah. good ones that are burnt, like the black ones that are like the small pieces on the pan. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's very good now. It's almost like a burnt rubber taste to me, too. Mm. It's just a similar, just like... It's about what it comes from. Like a little bit of the parchment paper gets on the cookie and you have to eat that too. Yeah. Like just, just not it kind of tastes like like leaves. Like yeah. That. Okay, I want to... One rate, positive thing. Give it one positive thing. It's an easy drinker. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if it's that positive because it's... I mean, it's not miserable to drink, but it's only 90 proof. And so... It's got a decent mouthfeel maybe. I'm not, it's yeah, like, it has like... It's very oily. Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah. Out of 50, I'm going to give this a 15. 
Like, that was not good for me. But I can see how it could get much worse. I will say that. I'm going to give it a 22. 22 out of 50. Okay, 50. that's fair. So well, 30, that's, that's high. Mm. We'll stick with it. Okay, 37 out of 100 then. Yeah, that's that's, that's definitely last place. Yeah, last place for sure. Um, last two were actually over 50. So Yeah. So that definitely was not a drop good. off. Do you have any guesses before I move on? Legacy, you know that. Legacy, 90 proof, you know that. 90 for $15 range. That does not really narrow it down, because again, we that, talked about that's like... That's like 87 bottles now. Give me a hand on distillery. You had something right before this video from the same distillery? Okay. Okay. So before this, we had well of foolproof. <laughs> maybe not the best thing. <laughs> yeah. That's also in my back of my mind. Maybe that yeah. wasn't the best thing to uh, have as an opening for, but yeah. So it's a Buffalo Trace product. It is. Could be anything because they again Saz Sazerac, Sazerac owns yeah. ninety five percent of stuff. I feel like, but this comes from Buffalo Trace. I, I will. I do. Know. Oh, actually, Buffalo yes. Trace. Okay, ninety nine percent sure. Yes, this is like a benchmark. Yes, benchmark small batch. To me, they need to delete this one. They have too many benchmark products. So they have five. Yeah, foolproof, mm -hmm. single barrel, top floor, small batch, bonded. No. And bonded. Yeah. Yeah. So I have bob uh, bonded, top floor, and foolproof. All that are much better than All those are actually really good. I would actually values. like to do a five blind from that yeah. from this from from all benchmarks. Stay tuned for that. This is definitely the worst Buffalo Trace product I've ever drank, I would say. That's pretty I'm easy sure there are worse, but I think this is definitely the worst I've ever had. Yeah. So by yeah. far last place. Yeah. I don't say it ever. If we come back to this, I don't see it getting much better than that either. If this is the benchmark that benchmark is setting, it is going to be <laughs> yeah. passed quickly. Hopefully yeah. next week. Yeah. So thank you guys again for watching. Please stay tuned for other videos. If you haven't yet, please go check out the Wild Turkey Blind video. That was one of the favorites we've ever made. Yeah. And one of the main reasons we even started the channel as well, because sure. we wanted to do that. And so it was super fun. So just please go watch that. Do you have um, any like other ideas? Some bottom shelf bottles you want us to try we'll check the comments and we'll yeah. try to grab one off that list or yeah. and let us know your just, thoughts too on the small batch yeah benchmark. i was severely disappointed especially based off their other offerings yeah i went in with low expectations and they weren't even met like, i mean <laughs> that is really not good yeah. so thank you guys again for watching we'll see you next week